Today, as always, I came to see you. What I prepared today is the hotkey mode. First of all, before introducing the mod, let me tell you why you need the hotkey mod. First, existing Skyrim does not support the hotkey cycling system at all. Only one item could be assigned to one hotkey, but SkyUI expanded this a little to extend the hotkey from F1 to F8 keys, but in the end, it did not introduce a cycle system. In fact, the more items you acquire, the more items you want to assign as hotkeys, but the aforementioned system of hotkeys will actually run out of hotkeys. Therefore, it is convenient in many ways to apply the cycle system to one hotkey. Second, the convenience of using potions. This is related to the first reason, when you hotkey a potion in the traditional way, pressing the hotkey once releases the potion from the hotkey. This is really inconvenient. You have to acquire many potions and assign hotkeys every time, but in a busy battle situation where you have to drink potions, how can you assign hotkeys every time? In order to solve this inconvenience, you will eventually have to use the hotkey mod. Thirdly, to complete the modern interface. You might think this is impractical, but the visual interface can be really important. Especially when I playing Skyrim YouTube streaming, I feel that viewers have a lot of questions about the interface. And if you think about it, the interface is actually as important as the character because we always look at it whenever we play Skyrim. NPCs and creatures are only seen when they appear, but the interface is always visible whenever we play Skyrim. So anyway, I'll talk about the necessity here and now I'll explain the hotkey mod one by one. Please watch the video until the end, friend. Llama's Tiny HUD is a quick slot ish SKSE based mod. It adds a small widget like in modern RPGs. It's a widget that looks a bit like an Xbox pad, but it's a widget with a good design. Basically, four hotkeys can be registered, and other settings can be recalled through toggle keys. Thus, a total of eight hotkeys can be registered. It's a little disappointing that there is no cycle setting in the hotkey, but you can wear a one-handed weapon and a shield at once, and you can continue using potion items once you register them. In particular, this mod only requires address library for SKSE plugins and MCM helper. The usual hotkey mode has a lot of required modes, but this mod is all about address library for SKSE plugins and MCM helper, and the script is also a single script, and it is made of ESL, so it felt light overall. In particular, it seems very wise that the creators of MCM Helper. Because once you register an item to a hotkey, it is saved by MCM Helper. Even if you load a different save file, it will be loaded as is, so you don't need to set the hotkey separately. In fact, the hotkey mod is a bit cumbersome to set up one by one at first. However, this mod seems to have solved these shortcomings well through MCM Helper. So, if you're looking forward to bug reports and are confident that this mod is stable enough, it might be a great mod to try. Souls Quick Menu Remod adds a Dark Souls-inspired quick menu into Skyrim, allowing the user to quickly cycle through many weapons, spells, shouts, and potions in real time. Tailored specifically for gamepad, but keyboard will still work as well. In particular, since there is an item for shouting, you can use different types of shouting that you do not normally use, and it is convenient to use potions. Items can be added to the quick menu using the MCM or assignment mode. It's probably one of the older mods out of the hotkey mods. Usually, you can register 7 left and right hand shouts and consumable items through MCM. After registering each item, use or wear the item sequentially. Simply put, you can think of using items the Dark Souls way. Dark Souls equips 2 weapons in cycles, but this mod allows you to equip a total of 7 items. Its strengths are that it supports the cycle method, that potions can be used conveniently, that there is no advance mode other than SkyUI, and that it is ESL. 
However, the list has to be refreshed through MCM whenever a new item is acquired. The list takes too long to refresh. That sometimes the player's item is not displayed on the list, and that the script is heavy. The third mod to introduce is Elden Equip. This mod is a mod that adds a hotkey system like the Eldenling game to Skyrim, and the working mechanism is similar to the Souls Quick Menu reintroduced earlier. Because Elden Ring and Dark Souls are games developed by the same manufacturer, the hotkey system is also almost identical, so the two mods based on these games also have some similarities. However, the way hotkeys are set up is completely different from Souls Quick Menu Re. Elden Equip has a Cycle Editor button key, and if you hold the Cycle Editor button, then the Equipment widget frames will become a different color. And at this time, if you equip the equipment you want to add, a message appears indicating that the equipment has been added to the hotkey, and the equipment is assigned to the hotkey. This method perfectly covers the shortcomings of the Souls Quick Menu re-described earlier. You don't have to refresh every time you acquire equipment, and you don't have to worry about equipment not appearing in MCM. If you play for a long time, you should use this mod for a long time and observe whether script accumulation problems or other bugs occur, but my thoughts while using this mod are as follows. Elden Equip well expressed the cycle system and basic soul game mechanics, which are the strengths of Souls Quick Menu Re. And Elden Equip seems to be able to quickly and conveniently assign a player's equipment to a hotkey using the cycle editor button. In addition, although it has been a long time since Elden Equip was developed, it is presumed to be highly safe as there are fewer bug reports than expected. The fourth mode to introduce is the UI Integrated Hotkey System. UI Integrated Hotkey System is a system that creates one hotkey through MCM. You can create a new hotkey by clicking Add New Equip Set in Hotkey System, Managing in MCM. The default hotkey buttons are Shift, Control, and Alt, but you can set up your own hotkey buttons. And this mod allows you to choose the hotkey's widget, the widget icon, and the position of the widget. You can choose which one to use for left hand, right hand, and shout. If you select all of them, click Confirm Adding New Equip Set to create a widget. In the hotkey mode introduced so far, four hotkeys were in a bundle format, but in the UI integrated hotkey system, the hotkeys are individualized. However, in the UI integrated hotkey system, one hotkey is in the form of a bundle of consumable items for right hand and left hand shouting, so making one by one can be a bit cumbersome. But, since each hotkey widget can be individually set on the screen you want, and you can select the hotkey icon you want, it is a hotkey system that is optimized to express the player's personality. The last mod to introduce is the iEquip mod. iEquip is a fully featured hotkey gear switching and equipment management mod, complete with advanced Sky UI HUD widget. You need to install iEquip mod for the first time and set iEquip to on in MCM. If set to on, a message appears and a widget is displayed at the bottom left of the screen. The default key is GHYB key. It is a cycle type, and when you press the K key, a separate setting menu appears. This mod can be a bit complicated, but if you select Enter Edit Mode, it kindly explains what each key does. At this time, Bullet time is activated, but it seems to be to prevent enemies from attacking while reading the description. To add an item, you need to open your inventory and press a hotkey on that piece of gear. For example, to add a weapon, move the mouse cursor to the weapon and press the H key to add it. On the other hand, to add a shield, open the desired inventory, move the mouse cursor to the shield item and press the G key. If you press K key, and followed by Manage Cues, you can change the cycle order of the hotkeys you have configured or remove items you have added to the hotkeys. 
I equip mod has quite good quality of widgets and text, supports most functions, and seems to be a top-notch mod among the mods introduced so far. However, the concern is that in order to give many functions within a mod, it is necessary to use as many scripts as possible, and I am concerned that such heavy functions will burden Skyrim and lead to bugs or mod conflicts. In this regard, each mod configuration is different, so it is recommended to test safety by testing whether or not it crashes through actual play. That's it, you've covered the must-have hotkey mods. Thank you very much for watching the video to the end. If the video was helpful, please subscribe and set a like notification. It helps a lot in channel growth. Then see you next time.